Okay, before you say anything, I just want you to know that I, I turned her down so many times, it would have been weird if I didn't do it, you know? Uh, look, I, I totally understand. And besides, Sundar definitely falls under safety. <laughs> okay, well, since communication is the word of the day, you can let me know if you're feeling jealous. I'm, I'm not. I understand that, but it wouldn't be a problem if you were. Well, that's great, but I'm still not. Okay, so you're not bothered at all? No, but the fact that you're bothered, that I'm not bothered, is kind of starting to bother me. Why would that bother you? Oh, why would what bother me? I, I am genuinely confused. I have no idea what we're talking about. You know what? I'm just going to summarize. I think that your ego is ever so slightly bruised by the fact that I trust you implicitly, okay? Mm -hmm. Now back to the update. Mm-hmm. So, on the morning that Karina died, there was one other cell phone in the area that pinged off the Waimanalo cell tower and a hotspot on a yacht about 10 miles offshore. So, the phone was in the ocean? It would seem so. It was a burner phone with no ID. I went offline about an hour before Karina died. Now, did you accomplish anything today other than saving Instagram models from very harmful UV rays? Very funny, but yes, I can multitask. Apparently, the surfers got into a number of altercations with Karina. There were some newbies on the break, they kicked them off, and Karina defended their right to be there. You know, they aren't our only suspects. I just spoke to one of our new co-workers, Sharon. With Karina out of the way, she's now next in line to take over when Cole retires. What is it? What is that? It is. Karina! 